I'm not the facilitator. And with the friendly memo, you have accepted the box. So, I'm going to read the summary again because the other part was really long and kind of hurt. Don't be a year and you could get a job. I can't. I can't. I can't. This isn't from the projects. Technically, I'm from the projects. Oh, in case you don't notice. Now I'm going to translate this from bullshit to English. This is English. If you come to our events or to our websites, phone systems, etc., it doesn't matter who you are, you agree to follow our community standards. If you leave the relationship, you don't have to follow our standards. When you go home, that's your home. The General Assembly is empowered to sever ties with those who do not follow the principles of solidarity or other standards of behavior that have been agreed upon. Presently, there haven't been. So, currently, principles of solidarity, but you can add more. If we leave the relationship with you, you also don't have to follow our standards. It stays that way as long as we're not involved in each other's business. If we get involved with companies, they have to follow our standards too. So if we say we're going to work with this voting company and they beat the shit out of someone, fuck them. <laughs> our standards apply to Occupy Wall Street as a whole and all to all our working groups, caucuses, and so on. So any group in here, if they say, you know, they're not part of Occupy Wall Street, fuck them. Yeah. Boy, you're tired. I like saying fuck them. <laughs> all right, uh, time. Are you done? Are you done? That's the proposal. Okay. Yay. So we're gonna give 30 minutes to this proposal. If you have a clarifying question, please see Alia. Please raise your hand if you have a clarifying question and you want to be put on the stack. Um, thanks. Um, clarifying question. Where are you getting these codes of conduct for? And if you're not getting them from a consensus upon code of conduct, why are you making them up? There are codes of conduct being worked on. They're intended to be brought forward to the General Assembly for consensus. They don't exist yet, but we'd like to be able to ask at some point the General Assembly to have it. There's some working groups who've been working on this for like two months. Next on stack, Alia. We're giving consensus to something that doesn't exist yet. You will be giving consensus to when you discuss it. Next on stack. Go ahead, Jason. What I want to know, what I want to know, you know, and I agree that, that, that rules need to be made and stuff like that, but how, how could you expect all these people to vote on these rules? You know, voting on the enforcement of these rules before they're put into effect, I think that it would be, uh, be smart to table this, make the rules, get consensus to pass with that, and then, and then put your, your thing through. Because right now, right now what you're doing is, I mean, that's a little iffy. I, I mean, you could put in there that if somebody has blue eyes, that that's not a code of conduct. And okay, I think that... Okay, so it sounds like you have a friendly amendment, right? I have a friendly amendment that amendment. if you... Okay, yeah, that's, 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 that's not a friendly amendment. amendment. That's not a friendly amendment. So we're not... I would like the ability to respond. That's not a friendly amendment. He was we, trying to clarify. Here's my response. No, I was trying to that one. I've been I working on actually this going directly along with a bunch of other people for two months. Okay, then... We did that originally. However, I was perfectly content to do that until I saw there's a proposal coming up on Tuesday to try and ban someone. And we have no That's fucking idea how the Tuesday. fuck to do that. Yes. that so this would be the question of, if we're even going to even contemplate that, how? You could get all these people. people. Listen, you could get all these people to vote for that right there, and they would, give, they would be, there, perhaps 90% of them might not agree with one or two of the things that you put as code of conduct in there. Which is why this does not apply to anything, because it doesn't exist yet. Right now, the code of conduct that exists is the principles of solidarity. We all know the principles of solidarity exist, right? Please see me while Angela is talking. After she's done talking, stack for clarifying questions will be closed. You're on stack. Have you guys put into consideration what Occupy DC is doing for the same situation? Instead of introducing a code of conduct, they introduce two new role, roles to their occupation. One of them being a dragon. A dragon is usually two appointed people that will circulate the crowd. They're de-escalators. They're the ones that calm the situation. The second option is, if the situation really gets out of control, they take a timeout. 
and simply that way you're not enforcing that people can't be part of the, uh, the assembly. We are the 99%, we're one unit. If you can't make rules to kick people out, then you're not including the 99% anymore. So, then we're not the 99%. No, we're, we're going to be like the 96 at some point. To continue, we have de-escalation. There are some problems a couple people de-escalating can't solve. Case in point, there's a group in California starting in our name a fucking political party. Right. They want to run political candidates for Senate in California and say these are the Occupy Wall Street candidates. How are you going to de-escalate that? We're back to the Occupy principles. Sure. We're a non-politically affiliated organization. Yes. Except they're saying we are non-politically oriented except we're running for Congress. Right. We are not politically oriented but we're running for Congress. We have a contradiction. These things cannot both be true. And yet they're running for Congress. Logically, then, they're not part of Occupy Wall Street. But they sure are saying they are. What this is saying is effectively, if you say you are, that's great. If you say you are and you aren't, well, we should probably do something about that. So kicking people out instead of making a public statement and taking them out of our conversation. What will you say in that public statement? You make a specific okay, okay, proposal. Okay, we're doing, we're doing a Yes. We're going to go this to the next. This is proposal. This is the form for every proposal to follow it. Bullshit. Mic check. Mic check. Kicking people out of the occupation is not the solution. I don't care how you see it, if he's too high up class, too low class, how low, how, how loud he speaks, what he's doing, what he's not doing. Kicking people out of the occupation is not, I'm not for it. What? Okay, so next person on stack for clarifying questions is? Echo, and stack is now closed. In addition to some of you who are sincerely here, there are people who are paid to be here to break shit up and slow us down. Exactly. Unless we hear a better proposal than what we are seeing right here about how to counteract the problems that we have with infiltration and contamination of a sincere movement then I would like to see solidarity and support for this proposal. Thank you. And do I understand correctly the spirit with which you say not individuals, but companies? And in th th those, that's who we want out of here, are people who are paid to infiltrate and break our shit down. Okay, you look around so you, these are sincere people. Do I understand that correctly? Yes. To answer, however, there may be cases where we must use this on an individual. Brandon Darby, anyone know him? Anyone want him to be part of Occupy? No. Probably not. Tony, if you Google Tony Occupy hey. Rapist, no, you'll no, find someone no. that I'd love to say is not part of New York City's occupation. Amen. But we let that guy back into housing because we had nothing like this. Daniel was never part of Occupy Wall Street. He never was. He was part of the kitchen working group. He, he only found him one day. He never was. He only found him one day. Let's clarify the air. My clarify question is, Sean, I'm kind of curious. Since you and other, other individuals, especially in sport council, decided they basically decided to be the voice for this movement without the two ninety nine percent that basically you guys been marginalized and um, mistreated the poor the homeless. My clarify question to you, how many people wrote, um, sat down and how many working group work which work hand to hand about this proposal? So two months ago we brought this forward originally I'm, for Spoke Council. That was six people, town planning, working on this originally to come up with the first draft. We showed up to Spokes Council, we improved it there, everyone in direct action said they loved it, and we had about five or six other working groups who jumped on board then. And who are those five or six working groups? I'm I don't sure. remember. That was two months ago. I wasn't too worried about it at the time. Well, you should, because you bring a proposal to basically okay, bend our companies and then GP So you okay. should. So, okay, so now we are going to open up stack for concerns. If you have a concern, please get on stack. Eric is first on stack. My concern is, first of all, who's gonna, who and how are we gonna decide who we're gonna push out of the movement? And also, I really feel that like once, I mean, I'm really concerned about once we start pushing one person out of the movement for one thing, then it becomes another thing, and then it becomes another thing. I thought Occupy Wall Street was about bringing people into the movement Helping people, making making us all become a community, not pushing people away from what we're trying to do. And because somebody's opinion doesn't agree with your opinion, I, I mean, who, who's going to decide? Like, when, when is it going to stop? 
I mean, we're opening a Pandora's box here to like just do. I mean, you know, we're this is something that like I just I'm totally against this. Absolutely. I agree that we should not be using this thing lightly. I don't want to use this at all, period, if possible, but I don't believe that's reality. So as to how and who, the General Assembly and via proposal, which means you have to get consensus amongst the group of everyone as a whole that this person is not part of Occupy Wall Street. Unfortunately, people like this do exist and will continue to exist. I've noted that someone's a rapist. He raped two occupiers. Month later, none of those. Wait, 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 wait. None of that. None, none of those charges were fought like that. That's your, you don't. I. Okay, I'm gonna you're, have to you're, this. You're, I'm gonna have to this. Let me you, speak. Let you me can't speak, be Ed. talking about people like that I when those really charges were not. Sure. It's not something that you. I, 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 I feel like wow. it's not it's so. I mean, this is. A, sure. I mean, I this is not the court system. So Stop there are definitely things we do that say. I'm really just not following the principles of solidarity. Maybe you light a cop car on fire. We don't even There's know what they are. You don't have any, you don't have any validation. I, you don't have any, like, what are the principles of solidarity? You have nothing we to do with it. Who wants to volunteer to read this man the principles of solidarity? I don't know if have it on me, Next person on staff for concerns is... Stand up for what you believe in or stand up.